2014, you thought that there was damp in your house and you believed that that little structure there, the carport, was to blame. Yes. Now, madam, are you a qualified builder? No, I called people in. Was that two years ago? That was the um, start of 2015. Right. At that stage, what did they tell you on that date? So they had a look around the property and they said that there was a mixture of problems. Um, there was condensation in the property because it's an old house, um, but that the landing wall, um, sec uh, the first floor landing, um, was it was bowing and there was damp um, on that landing wall. Now, did they draw up a written assessment and professional report? They did, yes. I haven't seen that report. No. There has been a subsequent report which I've had a chance to look at. Before we come to it, madam, did they conclude that there was problems relating to damp in your property because of the carport? Yes. They came to the conclusion that any damage to your property was as a result of that thing. Not not solely, to be very honest. Not solely, to be very honest. There were other things, Boeing, yes. an old house, etc, etc. Yes. To what extent did they take the view that any damp to your property was caused by that thing? They said a large proportion of what it What proportion? 10%, 15, 20 talking, 30? They didn't give me a percentage. We then had a builder come round to look at the, um, the actual structure of the carport um, and he determined that what was happening was that um, because the carport hadn't been maintained in any way. Water had seeped in between the pillars of the, of the carport and the builder came to house. the conclusion that it hadn't been adequately maintained and consequently any damp relating to your property was a result of that structure. Yes. Well, even if you came to that conclusion, which you did, you decided to take a very sensible remedy, which was, about the same time, getting rid of it. Yeah. You immediately approached Tony. And what you did was try to suggest a solution about getting rid of the thing. And Tony, at first, was amenable to that. In Absolutely. fact, you agreed. To a point, Your Honour, I did ask what proof she had and she didn't provide any whatsoever. Well, I've not seen that proof either. So, consequently, what did you do? I agreed to have it taken down. Excellent. Now, in terms of the expenses of that removal, did you offer to contribute to removing it? None at all, sir. Was there ever an offer of a contribution? Absolutely. How much? Uh, it was 50-50. I think it, it, was a, it was an amen amenable conversation and um, it was like, just, just let me know and we'll split it 50-50. No, that's not the case, Your Just right. pause. You did say, let's get oh, rid I of it. I did say, let's get rid Thank of it. Thank you very much. I did say, what proof have you got? She didn't have any at that stage. No, she had none whatsoever. It doesn't matter. I, I, now, I, what you did have is a text message. And I've seen a text message from a workman, which I hope relates to the relevant date. Let's have a look. OK. Your damp has been caused by water leaking down between your house wall and the stud wall for his lean-to. <laughs> that lean-to means that carport. The roof wasn't lead flash on your side, so water was running down between the two walls. Yes, that's what I've been told too. Blah, blah, blah. You ended up taking it down. Is that correct? Yes. And there were various costs, including getting rid of all of the stuff. You also discovered, rather unhappily, that there was asbestos, correct? Yeah. That's pretty frightening. Yes? Yes. Now, after the removal, one of the things you discovered, understandably, and I can see it, you see on the right-hand side, yeah. is that the rendering on the wall is now damp. It had rain that day. Yes, sir. But that looks like a house-shaped piece of damp, doesn't it? Um, Tony, you don't even know when that picture was taken. To know when was, was that raining. picture taken? Well, exactly. Then? How do you know it was raining that day? Because you can clearly see. I live next to that your house. You don't live there, and I've looked out there, and that's what happens when it rains. You've got no runoff on the top of your on your roof. You've got no expansion gap for the rain to run away, and that just sits there. It runs down your wall and it soaks it up. Now, Michelle. What is your claim for? You're claiming for, first of all, half the cost of the removal of the carport. Yes. Now, let me help you very quickly with the most important bits of your claim. You don't have a contract for that, madam. No. You can forget about it. This gentleman didn't agree to pay for half of it. You did it yourself. OK. Can't have it. OK. You are charging for half the cost of the skip hire. Again, madam, this gentleman didn't agree to do that. You wanted to get rid of it. You got rid of it. 
£125 for the removal of asbestos in the carport roof. He didn't agree to it. Unenforceable. You are claiming £2,200 for half the cost to repair the damage of your rendered wall, the bit we can see, and extras. Yes. In addition to that, £1,000 for costs of what? It's the last part of your application. So it's um, costs of the um, redecorating that the damage to the damp has caused on the inside of my landing. On the inside of the house. And, in fact, you provided me with a photo. You say that as a result of that lean-to, water went down the side, it damaged the rendering to the wall, which subsequently went through the permeable membrane of that wall and caused that problem there. And what you can't see on the pictures is actually that wall is now bowed. So there's a... There's a, a... It's caused by damp. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.